now, without further ado, here we have Your Majesty. They're about to perform their um, single here. Uh, so, you guys ready? To, you guys ready to go? Your All right. Majesty, take okay, it let's make some magic happen here. Sounds from the underground. Um, if you guys just tuning in, you guys just missed Your Majesty playing their single. Uh, What's the name of that single? Is Twelve. 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 The single was called Twelve that you just missed. And if you just tuned in, then you probably just tuned into the music we were playing earlier. Uh, first off, we played. Let me just shut this off for a second so you can hear me. Yeah, Here tell the listeners what we've been listening to. So the songs that we started was a uh, lymphemera with her song. <coughs> with their single called Young, that's what we played first, and then after that we just played Gazuda, which is what you just list were listening to, and that was called We Want the Jungle, and I love that song. Um, like, it's a lovely it's song. It's a great it's song. It's, nice. it's, it's no. a good song to love, it's good to it's love. It's a good song, it's like a, I don't know, when I heard it, it felt like I was on drugs, which is always a good thing. It's always a good thing to feel like you're on drugs when listening to music. Personally. If you're listening to music and you yeah. feel like you're on drugs, you can pass a, a drug test, and um, then you can probably have a job. And, if you have a job, then um, you can still come to the free shows. And you can do yeah. drugs. And then you could do the drugs. Yeah. That's but, the free shows. But definitely, we want the jungle where Gazuda sounds like um, I'm on peyote. And I know You've been on peyote? Peyote's like a lot better that's, than peyote. That's not here. So my mom did There was this one time in South America. <laughs> Thanks anyways, for the recap, we're, Lixie. We're back. We're back. Yeah, so we're going to crack a beer right now with these fellas here. Uh, let's crack a beer, guys. Here. Cheers. Yeah, beer time. Cheers, though. Yeah, here. Cheers. So, Salute. Right, so, yeah, we have Sunshine. your majesty in the studio today. <laughs> the children. Don't give the children any beer because it's, it's bad news. We don't care about that. So, so uh, all right, guys. Uh, we for the kids. <laughs> we ask you guys some questions so our listeners can know a little bit about you guys. Um, so, where did you guys? Or where do you guys originate from? I mean, Whittier. Whittier. You guys are from Whittier. Hardcore. Yeah. Five six two. Land of the emos. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. I just had like a, really? a screen. I had a screenwriting teacher who said that, so I just assumed. It is. All the, yeah, it is. A lot. Every kid. Every kid on the street is in a band and paints. Yeah. Or makes yeah. films. 
Oh, or they, okay. you can find that kid that paints bands. I'm sure he was invited <laughs> all the parties, right? Yeah. He paints bands. He paints at the shows. And he's in an emo band. Right. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just that's to, like, that sounds like an exhibit. Just to bring emo out of the topic. So, um, where do you guys draw your influences from? Um, you guys have a really, uh, it's, a, it's a really hip, really hip sound. I would say it's very like rock and roll, almost punk. Um, we haven't busted off the keyboard, which is yeah, <clears throat> no keyboard today. Yeah, speaking of the microphone, here. it was acoustic, so we thought we'd bring it closer. Pianos are just so heavy. We couldn't get it up the stairs. On oh, piano, yeah. Yes. yeah. So heavy. Oh my god. It's what kind of piano do you like to play? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, well, uh, it's it's literally behind you. There's a piano right behind you. Yeah, that that that's also a heavy one. But um, that's what she said. I uh, <laughs> um, the record was recorded on like a Yamaha Grand, which was uh, like a huge. I don't know, like blessing or something. It was is, just that, like, is that for the upcoming album? Is that mm -hmm. your um, so? Is that in all of your recordings? Or? Yeah. Okay. It was like this massive seventy thousand dollar piano or something like that. Um, at home, I just have an upright, like a nineteen fifties something that somebody gave me. So right. I don't really uh, have many choices when it comes to pianos, but I, I do like pianos that play. Now, do you like to refer to playing the piano as tickling the ivories? I think I heard that a couple of days ago. He likes to tickle something. Yeah. I, I don't. Do you I don't like being tickled. Or? I, I do. I don't. I don't. I do like being tickled. I do like uh, calling it tickling the ivories because my mom loves it when I say that. Um, I normally just call it playing the piano. Playing the piano. Yeah, it's crazy. Is that the black and white ivories or just the piano? I did. I did paint all of my keys black. Okay. Now speaking of the piano, so you come from a musical family, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who told you that? Mm -hmm. We found that on your bio. bio. Yeah, it's on your bio. You're, you're <laughs> awesome. Your awesome manager <clears throat> emailed me the world's greatest press release. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome to all of your friends. We pay them all. But that was good. That was good, though. We got so much info on you guys. More so, than we're yeah, organized. What was it? What was it like growing up in a musical family? Was it more like a, was, was it a pleasure thing? Like at first, I mean, when you were a kid, um, you know. Well, imagine like your dad making you, you know play football or baseball every day after yeah. school and you're like, God, Dad, I hate football. It's a bit frustrating. It right? was just like that, but with music. So it got really frustrating for a little while and then it got really... Actually, when I noticed that girls liked it, I was like, wow, this is weird. Thanks, Mom. So what age was that? What, uh, what age that's, did you start liking the That's the for the most girls? music. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it, it, it was kind of cool in high school. Junior high, it didn't really count too much because I was really... Because yeah, you were sure. playing the recorder. Right. I played a lot of recorders. No, not at all. So, uh, what country? Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Wait. No, we're going to have to. Oh, you know, <laughs> one more question. No, but seriously, seriously, wrap it up. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the last question. Okay. And, and this is winner take all, so it doesn't really matter what points Wait. you win. Oh, Wait, what? Sudden death round? Hey, we're in America. Lightning round? Is that even that I did? We're in America. It's uh, okay. This is how it is. It's sudden death. The person to get this one gets the prize. Okay? So what country invented the Swiss Army knife? Is it A, the USA? Was it B, uh, Germany? Or was it C? Swear to God. Switzerland. Olivia, go. <laughs> Olivia, go. It's Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switzerland is absolutely correct. <laughs> yes, and you are the winner of the Mondo yeah. Zone. Let's it's give like a round of applause. We're both losers anyway. Oh, thanks, 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 Mondo. thanks. Show Olivia what she won. Oh, uh, I need to run the fridge real quick. It's right next to your foot. Uh, oh, I put oh. it down there. And um. Oh uh, no, actually. Hey Jesse, if you could just turn the camera, oh, not awkward. your camera, or the other camera, to let the world know what the smart hot chick looks like. Just go for it. Just go for it. That's what she Hi. looks like. She won. Dang. She is the winner. What did I win? Surprise. Thank you. Hey, take yes. it easy. And uh, you won a what is that? What is that craft there? A German beer. You German want to say that? Weichenstaufner. Weichenstaufner. Original premium. Weichenstaufner. It is your Yeah. All right. Well, it's nice. Bavarian beer. That's, that's enough of that. It's a little crowd Um, we're gonna go to break, and when we get back, Your Majesty is gonna play a couple more songs for us, and that'll conclude our show. But stay tuned because they're really. Really, really awesome. Band with Mondo, where we suppose sounds from the underground. Exclusively on LA Talk Live, where we're, we're more than just talking. Yeah, that's right. I, I cut you off. There. We're more than just talking. We're drunk, so. Anyway. I'm a little buzzed. We're not drunk at all. So well, shut up. Dude. You drank like a whole bottle of whiskey and like a bunch of.
beer. Let's get some chips. Let's get some chips. Let's get some pork rinds. I think. Let's get some. Dude, I think I ate them all. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, the bag is empty. Oh gosh. Stop, okay, stop. so we have Your Majesty. They're about to perform a song for us um, and for the listeners. Um, are they on camera? Oh, yeah. Yes, they are on camera. Let's do it. They're right there. All right, Your Majesty. We're gonna have the BWM jam out and play. Tell us what song you're gonna play and they're, play. They're it. playing the song "Kill Me." Your Majesty, you guys are on, man. Start jamming right yeah, now. Yeah, do it now. Yeah. 